Welcome to Protocol Deviations, Documenting, Managing, and Reporting. Our content and objectives for today to describe the key components of protocol deviation documentation and reporting. So we're going to talk about what makes a deviation. We're going to talk about the different terms that are used, violations, noncompliance, and really assess if they're really all the same thing because a deviation is a change from the protocol. So no matter what we call it, we need to understand what's expected of us and how we should handle it. Then our second objective is to identify individual stakeholder roles in the management of protocol deviations. And finally, to utilize a process to proactively identify, track, and evaluate deviations for greater effectiveness in study management. We'll talk about the fact that we're pretty good about documenting something, but what should we be documenting? What are the FDA expectations? And beyond that, what is expected to be documented to see that we've actually addressed the deviation? And that's certainly from the FDA perspective, but also in terms of project management or being a sponsor or a site, what do we need to do with that information or what do we need to do to solve the problem?